Welcome to the ANSBO Contributor Summit. This is the second Contributor Summit of 2021. Uh, my name is Carol Chen, and I'm part of the ANSBO community team at Red Hat. Together with John Barker, also uh, better known as Gundalo, we will be your uh, hosts for this event. Um, I'll start with some housekeeping items. All the content from today will be recorded and shared after the event. Feel free to use the chat function in Google Meet or the Ansible-Community channel on Libero Chat IRC Network to chat with and discuss with one another throughout the event. Uh, you can also use the Q&A function in Google Meet to ask questions. Uh, throughout the day, there will be sessions you can actively participate in um, and voice your suggestions and feedback, and you can unmute yourself to speak direct, directly in Google Meet. However, please be considerate and mute yourself when you're not speaking. The agenda is on HackMD, and I will share the link uh, after this. And I think actually it has been shared also on RRC and uh, and Spodash community channel. We're holding today's event in a different time frame than previously to welcome more participants in the Asia Pacific region. And I'm glad to see many more um, community members and colleagues from these regions. Let's start off with a round of introductions of the community team and some members of the ANSPO staff. And we'll probably get more of them joining in as the day progresses. Once again, I'm Carol Chen, and I take care of outreach and events in the ANSPO community team, such as meetups, this contributor summit, the, the Bullhorn newsletter, community voices on social media, and so on. My pronouns are she, her, and you can find me as Cybat on IRC, GitHub, and Twitter. Now I'll hand it over to my teammate and co-host, uh, John Barker. Gondola, over to you. Hi, well, um, Firstly, welcome for taking some time out of your day to join. I'm really sorry that we can't do this in person, hopefully next year. Um, but the advantage of virtual events is that we can get a lot more people in. So it's nice to see, I can see people from literally across the globe joining today. Um, yeah, as Carol said, I'm John Barker. I generally go as Gundalo on uh, IRC and GitHub and the Gundalo on Twitter. I'm the Ansible Community Engineering Manager. Um, so my team of folks who are some of which are awake um, and introduce themselves shortly, we're responsible for sort of the, uh, the development and the sort of steering committee and all the different sort of technical aspects of the community. Uh, yeah, so lovely to meet you all. Shall we introduce the team Community yeah. team who are here right now. Yeah. Um, I'm Prakash. Hey guys. Hi everyone. Good to see you all. Um, hope I'm visible. Yep. So yeah, my name is Om Prakash, and I'm part of Ansible community team. Um, so right now I'm looking after the uh, steering committee and a few other initiatives within the team and for the community as well. Um, and I'm from India, uh, taking care of meetups and um, other uh, community-related activities in India. Thank you. Thanks, Om Pradesh. I Is Greg on yet? I guess not. Uh, and I guess the rest will join a bit later on. So let's go alphabetically. Apijit, are you on? Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Apijit Kasurde. I am uh, known as A Kasurde on IRC. Uh, so I'm part of Ansible Cloud team. Uh, so I basically handle all the cloud related stuff uh, which is being uh, delivered by Ansible. Uh, so here I am. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, PG. Um, Alex? Yeah, hi, everybody uh, from under my bunk bed. Uh, I'm Alex, part of the core team, uh, relatively new. Uh, I'm the weird mix of, you know, doing the high level Ansible stuff and really love to do embedded systems. We will bring Ansible to the chip, I'm pretty sure. Like VHD, no, what is it? You are uh, a low level uh, electronics gating language for Ansible. 
pretty sure. No, sorry. I'm rambling. Next one. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Brian? Oh, you mean me? Sorry. Uh, a bit slow right now. It's all right. I am <laughs> Brian from the Antelope Core team. Uh, I've normally be cook on IRC and everywhere else. Thanks, Brian. Um, Dinesh? Oh, sorry. It's all right. Uh, hello, Ryan. Uh, I'm Ganesh. Uh, I work, uh, my, my IRC nick is uh, Ganesh RN on, uh, and I'm the same on the GitHub. I work in the Ansible content team, uh, mainly uh, I've been focusing on uh, network content. And of late, most of my time, I'm uh, working on the content tooling, Ansible Navigator. Uh, is one of the things that I'm focusing on these days. Yeah, that's for me. Thanks, Ganesh. James, Camarada, Jimmy. Hey, I'm Jimmy C on most places. Uh, long time Ansible maintainer. Some of you may remember me, know me. Um, Going to talk very quietly because the rest of my house is sleeping right now. So. Yeah, I know it's really early for you, so thanks for joining us. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rick, Rick Elrod. Uh, good morning. I'm Rick Elrod. Uh, I am on the Ansible core team. Uh, I focus primarily on uh, release engineering, so getting the stable releases out. Uh, lately, I've also been helping with uh, Ansible Navigator, but pretty much anything core related uh, kind of bounce around. Thanks, Rick. Um, I think I, I skipped Priyam. Um, Priyam, are, are you here? Uh, hi, am I audible now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Priyam Sahu. I'm from India, and I'm interning at the Ansible Network Engineering team. And I'm a new developer, and I have only four months of experience in this amazing team, working with some really cool stuff. Yeah, that's it from my side. Thanks and welcome. Uh, Rohit? Hey, everyone. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, hi. I'm Rohit Thakur, and I'm part of Ansible content team here, uh, just like Ganesh. And uh, you can find me on IRC by the name Rohit Thakur 2590. And that's same for GitHub as well. Thank you. Thanks, Rohit. Um, Sagar? Hi, everyone. Uh, I work with the Ansible network team, and uh, it's been three months now with Red Hat, and it's been an awesome journey yet. And uh, you can find me as KB per byte in GitHub and SAGPAUL in IRC. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sumit? Hi all. So I'm part of Ansible content team, and my IRC name and GitHub ID is GUSTJAS. That is just us. And uh, I'm currently part of uh, Ansible networking and the security team. Mostly currently uh, working on the security team of it. So yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Sumit. And Trishna. Hi everyone. Good to see you all. Um, I am part of the Ansible content team. I go by Trishna on IRC, and I manage the networking team and the start of India. Nice to have you here, Trishna. Um, did I miss anyone from the Ansible teams? Yes, you did. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many names. Yes, hi. Yeah. So as I'm from Ansible Core Engineering. I live in the Czech Republic currently, and I go by webcams uh, on all the places on the internet. That's it. Thanks. I sorry about that. <laughs> all right. Anyone else? Um, if not, Gundalo, we still have some time. Do you want? Um, the community members to introduce themselves or 
I would love for that very much because this is their event at the end of the day. So yeah. Right. All right. Great. Um, let's again go alphabetically and hope I don't miss anyone this time. Ah, we have. Okay, we'll come back to Emin. Um, Peter Cruz. Cruz. Hello, all. Um, community member for a very long time. Um, so from the wood that X, um, my first session was in Brooklyn. Um, when we had a, a, a separate morning for that. Um, but anyway, I'm here as a community member and also I um, uh, run a couple of the meetups and we're trying to get back into that and get updated on what's going on with the community. Thank you. Thank you. Daniel? It's a me. Yes. <laughs> Okay, You're the only yeah. Daniel for now. <laughs> yeah, hi. I'm Daniel. Uh, I'm I'm currently in the middle of changing nicknames and stuff like this. So if you don't remember my name in RSC or whatnot, um, most likely you will see me now as D Sheer. So first letter of uh, first name, Sheer, last name. Um, I'm also managing a couple of meetups and maintaining a couple of roles and stuff like this, um, organizing events, uh, representing Ansible on conferences, stuff like this, um, quite interesting. And nowadays or this year, my, my big plan is to also start to maintaining a couple of code. So hopefully this will work out. <laughs> so That's thanks a lot. Great, thank you. Evgeny? Hi, I'm Evgeny. Uh, I go on RC and Twitter as Janesh. Um, these days, I work mostly work on the Red Hat satellite team and those, or by that, um, also on on Foreman. And for Foreman, we do the Foreman Ansible collection, which is my main reason to collaborate with all you, you all. And yeah, happy to to be here and make make the collection ecosystem a bit a bit more better great always great to have you thank you uh, felix yep hi i'm felix um yeah i'm working <clears throat> mostly on maintaining some collections um working on some collections doing working on some tooling and yeah generally having fun with ansible <laughs> so yeah great thank you um will there more But if not, um, let's go on. Uh, JP? Hello, good morning. I'm JP. I've been um, I've been with Ansible now for exactly 10 years, so a little bit over 10 years. And um, I've degraded to mostly being a lurker. I do a lot of trainings. I still talk a lot about Ansible, use it, of course, a lot. Um, but basically, I'm just here today for the ride. All right, hope you enjoyed the ride. Thank you. Uh, nice to see you. Um, George or Jorge Rodriguez? Hi, it's Jorge. Thanks. <laughs> um, well, um, I started my, my trip with Ansible as a user um, a bunch of years ago and as a contributor also a bunch of years ago out of necessity. I, I found that some of the modules that I was uh, using were lacking some functionality, so I decided to contribute it back. And now I am actively maintaining the MySQL collection. Um, I've been taken by hand by Anderson, which has been uh, an incredible mentor. Uh, and I'm looking forward to continuing the work and, and taking this, this collection forward. Thank you very much, everybody, for having me and for inviting me and, and well, granting me contributor rights. I'm super proud of, of you guys and, and super proud of myself for this. Well, it's an honor. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for your work on the SQL collection. Thank you very much. Um, Pilo? Hi. Hello. I am an Ansible uh, user. Uh, I was, um, uh, I uh, made uh, some uh, contribution in the past. Uh, I am uh, quite a lurker right now. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Qu Quidame? Hello. You hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm Kidam. Um, 
I'm a, a, a modest contributor to to uh, uh, community general and uh, on civil projects. Um, and by the way, I, I'm a system admin. Um, uh, and uh, an IT worker and and civil user. All right, great to have you here, Greta. Hmm. Uh, Sagi Schneidman. Hi everyone, I'm uh, Sagi, working in the Reddit OpenStack team, maintainer of OpenStack and uh, Podmon collections, and uh, I'll be happy to be here in the contribution summit. Thanks. Nice to have you here again. Um, today. So, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. So, my name is Today. I work for the XLab Steampunk team. So, we are one of the, I would say, uh, bigger companies in Europe that work on Ansible collections with partners. And uh, so, Mostly, I work on the tooling around the collections, so testing and uh, documenting collections. And so, this is me. Nice to see you again. Um, Tom Pearson. Hello, good morning. I, I hope everything works. It's yes. not always the it's not always the <laughs> when you need to switch all kinds of uh, devices uh, to and throw. Right. Uh, well, good morning. Um, my name is Tom Kerster, and I think I've almost got an identical uh, story to EAP. I, I'm one of the meetup organizers in the Netherlands, which has been down for almost a year now. So let's hope COVID picks up. Well, COVID goes down and meetups can pick up again so that we can have face to face meetings again because I'm really longing for that. And for the rest, I, I keep bugging people with bug reports on things that don't work. I'm here for the day, but uh, I'm not quite sure how long and whatever because I'm still at work. But nice to have you. And yeah, you and me both uh, wishing, you know, we'll, we'll get, get a meet in person again soon. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. With Rice Tafel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oops, sorry. Um, we, I see Tosho logging on. It's really early for him, so I don't know, Tosho, if you would like to give a quick intro or wait to a bit later. Hi, uh, this is Tosho. Uh, I'm in the U.S. on the West Coast, and uh, this is the end of my day, so I'll be around for a couple hours, and then we'll probably only fall asleep and you'll see nothing to um on uh in the ansible package and, and, and things like that yeah. all right thanks and uh yeah <laughs> thanks for being here so early um we are at time for the next topic so we can do a bit more intros later on perhaps so um Gundlo, would you like to take the next topic which is sure. general updates. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just going to run through a few little bits of where we are just to set context, and then we'll sort of expand on these a bit over the next few hours. Um, kind of quickly go through a load of stuff. We will do, you know, this has been recorded. Uh, we will send out links to give a lot more context. So if something doesn't make sense, I'll put links in the chat at the end of my bit. Um, Ansible 4.0.0 was released in May. We're still aiming for Ansible 5.0.0 in November. Um, the ongoing work to split out more stuff on the sort of a dumping ground collections, such as community network and community general, is going really well. We're now up to 94 dedicated collections that we include in the Ansible package. Um, I'm really happy with that because it's one of the for me, one of the selling points of collections was to have dedicated uh, repositories with specific maintainers rather than things being lost in the general mix that is uh, community general. Uh, we see some really nice bits of innovation going on in the individual collections, specifically around testing. For example, Grafana and Zabbix, and I think MySQL now, every PR, every pull request runs against multiple versions of whatever their testing is with Grafana, Zabbix, and MySQL, just something that was never possible to be done in the old um, Ansible Ansible repository. 
Uh, we've been through, a, we're using GitHub discussions now. Um, so I'll create this link. Uh, we're using GitHub discussions to track the inclusion requests. Um, as in, people wanted to get their collection into the Ansible package. Um, I'm really impressed that uh, collection, community collections and partner collections, we've really seen work closely with us to sort of increase the quality to really follow the, the how Ansible should be used and how modules should be laid out in a to say, create read update. So that's, uh, yeah, really happy with that. Um, We've had a bit of fun and games over the past month, like a lot of open source projects around Freenode being in the weird state flux that it is and moving to LibreChat. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that later and we're going to use this as an opportunity to try and look at uh, Matrix, um, the instant messaging protocol. Um, which will hopefully, uh, I know a lot of us here are IRC users and are probably IRC for live people, um, but there's a slight barrier to entry there, so we're gonna hopefully have all the IRC and, and major channels bridged together. We're so close, gonna to talk about that in a few hours. Um, the Ansible PPA, so that's the uh, package repository for Ubuntu, seems to be doing very well. Uh, I'll put a link in for that at the moment, but that's available for testing now, so if you are an Ubuntu user, please do have a look at that and give us some feedback. Uh, yeah, and one of the things I'm most happy about, um, and I can see the one of, one of the people there, is that we've got some new maintainers. So since the last contributor summit in March, we've got two new maintainers for Community General. That's uh, uh, Amit Balkin and Russo. And for uh, Community Mice Girl, we've got Rodriguez, who was uh, just speaking earlier. So I, I love that we can recognize people for their sort of um, their massive work that they've done. I think between them, they've collectively reviewed three or 400 pull requests and made a good chunk of them as well and really helped to improve the quality of those collections. Um, Later on, I'll share some links about sort of we're talking about our maintainers path, the journey that people can take and different ways that people can get involved. Uh, yeah, it's great, great to see more people. If anyone's interested in being a maintainer or wants to understand a bit more about that development process, feel free to reach out to me. We've got my team's got people in good spread of time zones and we've got people available to mentor, to help um, and guide people in any way. Um, also, just to ask questions on what's involved, I was really happy for that. I think that is the end of the bits that I had. So, um, I don't know if, you wanted, if there's any questions at this point, um, happy to do a little bit of open floor because I think we've got. Yeah, we've got 30 minutes before the, the next bit, so I don't know if you want to do any further introductions or if anyone's got anything specific they'd like to get from today. I know it's early. I hate going first. Everyone's still waiting for their first cup of coffee to, to kick in. Yeah, I, I read trips of coffee, coffee also work pretty well. Uh, Carol, were there some people that didn't get a chance to introduce themselves yet? Yeah, I believe Amin Bakil joined after, like, I was a bit down the list. Amin, are you? Hi, I'm Hi, Amin. Yes. Amin Bakil, and uh, I've recently become a maintainer in Community General, and I'm very proud of to be a part of the, part of the team. And I would like to thank especially Felix Sandis. He helped me very lot in this process, and Anderson, of course, and other people. But uh, Felix helped me a lot, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to be on the team. Oh, thanks, and we're so happy to have you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, while we wait for that, I can see uh, Martin from the core team has joined. 
Would you like to say hello, Martin? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, I'm Martin Krizek. I'm on the core team. I also maintain Ansibot. All right, thanks, Martin. Um, we have actually also uh, Ash Ashwini from the network team. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ashwini Mahatre, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm from network team. I maintain uh, Cisco SXR collection and recently started maintaining the utils collection. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwini. And Fugu um, is from the Netherlands and did a small contribution a little while ago, joining here out of interest. Thanks and welcome. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi. <laughs> Andrew, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, would you like to give a short intro or let's do the intros? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, thank you, Carol. Uh, my name is Andrew uh, <coughs> Anderson W07, and uh, I've been participating in the project since uh, 2018. And uh, last February, I joined Gundalov's team, and I'm happy because of that. It's nice to be here with you. Thank you. Great having you. Um... And just to give a bit more context on some of the stuff that Andrew's doing is um, he came in to, as the maintainer of the Postgres and MySQL collections. It's now sort of trying to find out, find new maintainers. So hence the, the three recent additions we've got on our maintainers list. So if you're interested in doing any of this stuff, please do reach out to myself or uh, Andrew Hanson, the bliss of online. Well, I guess if there's no questions, if Alex is ready, we can move on to the, the core update and then we can always extend the, the break a bit if we want to. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Go ahead, Alex. Uh, yes, let me share my tab and pray it actually works. Um, oh. So can you see a bright red presentation slide? Yes. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I will basically stretch one minute to 10. So let me let me get started with, with that right now. So um, about core features coming up in 2.12, we have, uh, well, not that much of really impressive, amazing features, but more like housekeeping. Um, so that will not be the longest ones. Uh, first, we have some version bumps for uh, the unlikely case that somebody really new is here uh, in, in, the, uh, in the presentation. We have uh, in Ansible the split between nodes and controllers, of course. Controller means there where you run your, uh, well, basically Ansible command on. So either the Ansible tower or in most cases your workstation that is a controller and all the target nodes are basically the nodes you manage and um yeah in short wait did somebody write something or is that just i'm still confused by google meet oh, okay no, cool sorry no, like that's me pinging on i'll see <laughs> okay good um so in general um we will uh drop every version below Python 3.8 for controller nodes uh, in this version, which means, well, you, you have to use some basically up-to-date Python or your on your controller, which shouldn't be really that much of a break. Uh, the more important thing is that we will now deprecate Python 2.6 on target nodes. So if you have a really old node, now is the time to upgrade. You can, of course, still use it with 2.12. But starting with 2.13, we will drop it, and you will have to use Python 2.7 minimum. Um, well, or, of course, Python 3, you know. Um, next set was we did some library cleanup. Uh, in general, uh, Pi Crypto is now, well, not supported anymore for obvious reasons. It's a bit unmaintained and also, uh, yeah, well, there, so, some breakage happen with newer Python versions. So please just use cryptography um, with Rust. 
Um, also, distutils is now deprecated because, uh, well, Python itself does that. So we will, of course, move along. And more an internal change is that the meta pathfinder in Ansible itself, you, you know, for modules and plugin finding, uh, has been upgraded to match the new Python 3.4 interface, tiny changes, but oh well, we did it. And uh, lastly, we have a tiny set of features. Um, for once, split controller moved along. We still have integrations tests, work in progress, but generally, Ansible tests should now understand what we are doing there. Also, uh, module defaults and action groups can now be specified within plugins, uh, sorry, within collections, uh, which, well, wasn't really the case in older versions, but now it fully works. I moved away from my birds, and my birds are coming behind me into my sleeping room. That's perfect. Um, also, object proxies. Uh, that's also an internal one, since we uh, want to have the possibility to deprecate features, isolate, well, objects within Ansible. We are using some, some fancy uh, proxy patterns to do that. That is also in the works now and will come up at first in 2.12. And that actually was it. So thank you, and open discussion. Uh, JP has a question for you. Yes. I wasn't prepared to talk here. Um, Alex, on the slide, it said move module defaults into collections. Does that mean they will no longer be supported, for example, in a playbook? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, that will still be uh, completely possible. It's just that collections now uh have the possibility to use them so yeah bad wording it's thank it's you. an addition not a move thank you okay so my part is done i would say so either more introductions or you get two minutes more break <laughs> do we get to see the birds uh yeah i will move back now and you can even see the chicks i have if you want all right <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Sure. Uh, any questions for Alex on core or generally for the community team before we take the break, first break? So what, one thing I'm interested in and who, uh, who's the first time joining the Contributor Summit and what they're hoping to get from today so it's nice to meet new people uh, i do realize therefore i'm putting people that haven't spoken much before on the spot and asking them to say so if you, you're welcome to use chat for that so if you're if this is your first contributor summit i'd love to hear probably via the chat function uh, what you're hoping to get from today and uh how you heard about it and different things like that um <clears throat> right maybe i take this one <laughs> Um, well, I, I joined by invitation from Andrew, which uh, I really appreciate. I'm here along just for the ride today, see how things go. It's my first one, and really have not a great deal of um, a list of expectations, but I am looking forward to Kundal's talk on, on paper cuts. Um, I do have a couple of remarks on Antibol test that I, I hope will get addressed uh, in, in that slot. And well, that, that's pretty much just me. <laughs> No, that's great. Thanks very much. Anyone else got anything they'd like to share? Otherwise, I guess we can put up the timer and uh, refill our coffees. Uh, John, uh, did you do the announcement uh, about new maintainers? I did indeed, yes. <clears throat> so, can we do it now? Yeah, yeah, I, I've done it already. Ah, Sorry. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And for me, uh, I'd like to say, uh, the guys, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to work with you. Uh, you've done a really great job, uh, hundreds of merged pull requests, and uh, you, uh, you, you're in influencing uh, the project. We are uh, working on those documents, general documents like review checklist, uh, maintainer guidelines, and uh, the other documents. It's very valuable and uh, it's super. Thank you. 
also from my side. I find it amazing that we have such a huge and awesome community. Go on. Be you. Be awesome. Thanks. Oh, Alex, would you like to introduce your little friend there? Sure. This here is Mycroft. Mycroft is now a proud dad since like two months or something. Very good dad. Um, <laughs> He doesn't do any tricks because I didn't train him, but he can do this. And that's all I want. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. also, you can you can see his wife back there on the door. Uh, well, they are birds. <laughs> and in the pause, I will maybe get the chicks if anybody of you is interested. They're in a box there. But I can uh, pull them out, actually, because they are pretty uh, handsome. Uh, you, you know, they, they don't fear hands. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you training it for RFC 1149? Mm, I actually don't know what it is. Oh. That's a standard for transmission of IP datagrams on Ooh. avian carriers. Oh, that's perfect. Mycroft, do we want to? Yeah, we yeah. want, right? Okay, I will do Horrible, this. right? <laughs> yeah. But it must be an IPv6 package. We are a progressive household here. Yeah, sorry for bombing it, but uh, you know birds. Yeah, George, if you want pictures, I have so much. I, I think I should open a Google Drive. I have like five gigabytes or something. <laughs> if you have a link, please feel free to share. <laughs> OK. It's just about as many as we have of our dogs. <laughs> Very good. Also, internally, uh, within the Ansible uh, Slack, I opened an NZ Birds channel, but nobody is in there except me. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see it. <laughs> cool, that's great. Should we stick up the, the copy time now? OK, all right. <laughs> and then we can, uh... Yeah, let me do that. And so we'll be back in 15 minutes with an update from firstly Rahul on the networking side and Abhijit, who most of you know is Mr. VMware, uh, for what's going on in the cloud team. Um, but yeah, please do you know feel free to carry on chatting. Um, this is recorded, but we'll chop out the, the chats from the, before putting the recordings up and feel free to use the, the checks. Text chat. One of the, the downsides from the virtual events is you don't get the whole way in the, the whole way track, which is why it's nice to have uh, Alex show up his, uh, his birds and for us to have a little chat between. But yeah, otherwise, we'll see you in 15 minutes. Thanks. All right. Welcome back. I hope y'all had a good break. And uh, we will now go to the uh, scheduled um, topic for this time, which is Ansible Network Team Update by Rohit. Rohit, are you are you ready? Hey, yeah. Am I audible? Okay. Yes. OK, so uh, yeah. Hi, folks. Uh, uh, again, uh, welcome to this Contributor Summit. And uh, those of you who missed my intro, intro uh, I'm going to reintroduce myself one more time. So I'm Rohit Thakur. I'm a senior software engineer here at uh, Red Hat, and I'm part of Ansible Network Content Team here. And I'm going to uh, walk you through with the proposed uh, network roadmap. So let me share my screen first. OK, fine. So uh, yeah, so this one is proposed one, and uh, uh, we will be expecting your feedback on this uh, or any new ideas. Or uh, so, so first of all, let's go through some of the impor important uh, information here. We can check that in network group as well. So yeah, we do have weekly meetings on IRC as well. So if you have anything to discuss or maybe an issue or anything new. Uh, you can join that, and uh, then you can also find some of the members' information, which 
are mostly SMEs for different uh, network collections. So, and uh, then we do have subgroups as well, which basically focuses on uh, specific technologies or which could be based on the platforms uh, we we support. So, and again, there there are some usual links uh, available as well. So you can check this out uh, if you want uh, to reach us or to talk to us you can uh, join us on slack as well and then again on irc as well if you have anything to bring up so yeah so let's go back to the roadmap and uh, let's see what we have okay so before going through the proposed uh, enhancements or feature ideas so uh, there is one more thing which is github project board and uh, if you want to track what sort of uh, features we are working on, or uh, it could be issues, so you can check this out. Uh, so there are things which are already in pipeline and uh, already in progress, and uh, some of the things which, which are already done. So we do keep track of those things, uh, like new feature ideas, or maybe sometimes we are working on the bugs. So you can find those uh, and tr track those here as well. So that give you an uh, idea about the timeline it, it going to take to like uh, have that specific feature or issue uh, to be fixed. So let's go back. Okay. So let's talk about uh, the proposed uh, new resource modules. And uh, so basically, we, we have proposed new resource modules uh, based on the resources like logging, NTP, uh, host name, banner and then snmp servers so there is one more uh, resource module which is a uh, prefix list which is already in progress so same thing uh, you can track uh, through the project board itself as well uh, i think for some of the collection they have already opened the pr for uh, for this particular resource module but yeah i mean these are the modules which will which are proposed for for the supported collections uh, for example for uh, EOS, NXOS, iOS, XR, and uh, Juniper, Junos, and then uh, for Vios. So that's what is there in, in roadmap. And uh, yeah, we are open to uh, like any feedback or anything, uh, new ideas, if you can propose that. So uh, we can discuss on that as well. So moving forward, let's talk about the new enhancement proposals. So one proposal is regarding uh, improving the fact gathering logic into a resource module code path. So basically we want to have fact gathering logic as an action plugin so that we can drive the arc spec from the doc string itself instead of having it separately. So this is something which doesn't affect the end user, but yeah, it will improve the efficiency in terms of uh, uh, performance as well. So, so the other feature is refactor older resource modules that may not have used parsing engines. So, okay. So uh, recently uh, we, we are uh, like uh, releasing new resource modules based on the CLI RM builder, which, which basically uh, creates some of the uh, auto-generated boiler template uh, code there. And then again, we want to have uh, older resource modules uh, based on this parsing engine because it, it, uh, it uh, basically improves the efficiency and then again, it's easier to maintain that code, which is basically uh, generated with the help of CLI RM Builder. So that is something which is there in our roadmap. And uh, if we talk about uh, Ansible Network, which is a meta collection, so uh, we do have a proposal for this, and it's about a resource manager, which is a role. So let me just open this proposal. So if you don't know what Ansible Network Meta Collection is, so basically if you install Ansible Network Meta Collection, you, you, will, you can install uh, all the dependent collections like all the other network uh, supported content collections. And that also includes uh, NetCommon Collection, Utils Collection as well. So uh, this proposal is about a resource manager role, which basically uh, is a single entry point so that you can manage all the resources which are supported by different collections so instead of like uh, uh, going to each collection you can basically invoke uh, each module of any collection which is supported through this role and uh, so basically what we want to do here we want to support some functions here like get uh, configure as well 
and then there should be a function like list which should re return the list of supported uh, resource modules so if you let's say if you want to get the list of uh, supported resource module for for a collection like maybe it's uh, cisco uh, ios or xr so you can use this uh, role as well so again we should be able to fetch all the facts from uh, from from these uh, platforms and then we should be able to create an inventory with host words and that basically includes all the facts uh, for resource modules and then later on we should be able to actually apply that configuration onto the device so that is something which uh, which we want from this role and uh, this is something which is already in progress uh, i would love to have your inputs on this one if you can go through this and then uh, if you want to add more things to it uh, i think we will be more than happy to discuss that so yeah that's pretty much about this uh, resource manager role we have so let's go back okay so regarding ansible uh, net common collection uh, enhancement and then uh, util collection enhancement i think uh, ganesh is a better person who who can talk about these uh, new enhancements so if it's fine with you ganesh i'm going to uh, uh, pass this to you is it okay yeah sure Okay. Okay. Let me stop uh, presenting this. Okay. Uh, cool. So, uh, moving on, uh, the first item in the network net common collection is the generic network resource plugin. Uh, so, uh, since last two years, the network team has been working on different types of resource modules and for different platforms. So. But the goal of this plugin is to ease the usage of those resource modules. Uh, right now, if I have to manage a resource, say L2 interface uh, in a multi-vendor uh, environment, I will have to use uh, uh, resources for that particular platform. So uh, something like iOS underscore L2 interface or Juno S underscore L2 interface. So this, this plugin will basically uh, is sort, sort of a wrapper. It is an action plugin. Uh, and it will invoke the underlying implementation plugin. So it will take, uh, 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 so it will basically support three functions. Uh, first, it will list for a given network OS, it will list the uh, supported resource modules. Then uh, it will uh, it, it will take name of the resource as an input. So see if I give L2 interface and the name of the network OS, uh, it will go and get me the facts of, of that uh, particular device uh, that is defined in the inventory. And then the third input is a config. If config is given and the state of that config is provided, so state can either be merged, replaced, overridden, and a bunch of other states. If that is provided, uh, it uh, this plugin will basically go and push that configuration onto the table. So this plugin will be used in the uh, role that just uh, that Roy just uh, mentioned in the uh, Ansible network collection. And it can be used in any higher, higher order rules to build uh, higher order functions like uh, L3 VPN or uh, VLANs functionality in a platform agnostic manner. So moving on, next is the gRPC connection plugin proposal. Uh, so this has been a, a long pending item. We initially proposed this in Ansible 2.7, but later we decided to move out uh, uh, and decided to do it when the collection split happens, mainly because we didn't want it to introduce uh, uh, another top level gRPC plugin. So this plugin uh, will be part of Ansible Net Common Collection, uh, and it will uh, basically deal uh, with uh, connecting to a remote gRPC-enabled uh, network devices. So we will be testing this against the network devices since there are a number of network vendors that have started supporting gRPC uh, on their platforms. So, and we have been getting a couple of inquiries on the support from our customers. So uh, it's, it's about right time we do this. Uh, then to use this connection plugin, we'll be having uh, two modules. We'll be implementing two modules at first. So gRPC get, as the name suggests, will uh, get the configuration and state data from the network devices. Uh, it will also take section or a filter uh, argument that will uh, retry only a set sub or a sub uh, section of the configuration. Then gRPC config will be used to push the configuration uh, structured uh, data or configuration onto the remote host. And uh, this uh, this will be implemented in a platform agnostic way. And if suppose there is certain uh, platform specific uh, uh, customizations that needs to be required, uh, that will be handled in the gRPC sub plugin. So uh, rather than 
having a top level plug, uh, plugin what collections allows us to implement a sub plugin kind of uh, system and uh, at first in the first release we'll be having a sub plugin for cisco ishxr uh, collection and uh, it can be used by setting an ansible network os to cisco.ishxr.grpc so fully qualified and name of that plugin then uh, for ansible utils collection uh, we'll be uh, implementing a validate config plugin so this comes out of a problem that uh, currently we faced with our uh, config modules uh, underscore config module so ios underscore config junos underscore config isxr underscore config so these config modules basically uh, do a plain text comparison between the candidate and running configuration and for each of the platforms uh, the indentation between the parent and the child uh, lines matters a lot and also when we do comparison uh, it is expected that the names of that uh, the names within the configuration are uh, in a full format so uh, for example, uh, uh, for a Cisco device, uh, Giganet, uh, uh, Gigabit, Ethernet, one, uh, one slash one slash one is a valid name. Also, Gigi, uh, slash one slash zero slash zero is a valid name. That is a short form of uh, the interface name. But in our uh, module, for us to be idempotent and not falsely show change equals to, we expect the configuration to be in a full format. So uh, this validate plugin will provide a set of rules for each of the platform which user can use before the passing their configuration to the config module and if this plugin uh, if, if the configuration passes then this plugin will uh, uh, the result will pass and we can uh, go ahead and um, move to uh, pushing the configuration onto the device using the config modules and yeah so moving on the ansible pilot versus uh, work so uh, to give you a brief context here uh, uh, originally, the uh, the uh, network module uh, modules are mainly using network CLI connection plugin uh, within the NetCommon collection, and network CLI connection plugin is uh, by default right now using Paramico SSS connection, which underlying uses a Paramico library. Uh, the problem with Paramico right now is it is not a FIPS compliant library, and that's why the Ansible network offering was not FIPS compliant. That's why the main motivation uh, that was that was the main motivation for us to uh, implement a libssh connection plugin and it is part of uh, netcommon since 1.0 release this libssh connection plugin now uh, is used by network cli connection plugin it uh, internally invokes the libssh connection plugin and libssh underline is using this ansible pi libssh library uh, underline uh, so this is basically a cyclone wrapper on top of libssh and uh, on for this particular library we will be uh, improving the unit test integration test uh, do more hardening for this library. Uh, then uh, there is GSS API support, uh, based authentication support that we added recently. So there are a couple of test cases missing and user scenarios that are being missing that we have to get test. So we'll be adding that in this uh, release. Then uh, uh, multiple enhancement bug uh, bug reports and performance improvements will be uh, done as part of Ansible Pilot Best Search Report. Uh, then moving on, the community.yang collection. Uh, this is so for, for those who are not aware, Yang is a data modeling language used for network devices. And we released this collection uh, in last, uh, before last Ansible test. So this collection basically uh, supports three functions. It is get, get basically uh, gets the configuration uh, using netcom transport. The configuration that we receive is in XML format. And this collection basically uses the corresponding Yang schema to convert that XML into a JSON format, which is much more easier to consume by higher layers. Then uh, configuration does a uh, config function does uh, exactly opposite of what Git does. It basically gets the JSON, takes JSON uh, blob as input, uh, uses the Yang schema, refers the Yang schema, and converts it into a structured XML data, which acts as a payload for the netconf transport. Uh, and generate spec. So looking at the Yang model, uh, writing a JSON blob is not that easy. So generate spec will basically read the Yang model and convert it into a, a empty JSON skeleton. So user can fill in the values and then use it as input uh, to this uh, Yang uh, rule. Uh, after releasing the community.yang version, we have seen a lot of adoption for this uh, collection uh, across uh, network vendors. And that's why we decided to release a supported version of this collection. So uh, with this, we'll be releasing Yang dot, uh, Ansible dot Yang collection, which is a supported offering. Uh, while doing so, we'll be improving the unit test integration test coverage for the code that is currently part of community Yang. 
Then uh, we'll be implementing a, a filter plugin to basically list uh, the Yang modules. Uh, uh, Yang module is basically a kind of a C, lang C language. It has a bunch of dependent Yang models. So it will uh, just uh, improve the ease of usability for this collection. So it will. Uh, this plugin will basically list uh, the uh, dependent Yang models for a given input of Yang model. And right now, this collection uh, only supports netconf transport. We'll enhance it to support uh, restconf plugins as well. So right now, netcommon collection has this uh, restconf modules, restconf config, and restconf get. So the so this collection will internally invoke those uh, modules when uh, transport is being selected as rest common, uh, rest common. So yeah, I went uh, pretty fast through that. Are there any questions? Yes. So um, if there are questions, uh, is the best way to contact uh, through the Ansible Network Slack that's on the wiki and also RC channel. Has the network team moved RC to, uh, to Libera chat as well? Yeah, we also have a Slack instances. Most of the network folks are not on IRC. We also okay. maintain presence on Ansible Network Slack instance. So for folks who don't have IRC clients, they can uh, connect to us on Slack instance as well. Okay. So the contact information is on the network uh, wiki page. Share that. Great. Thanks, Rohit and Ganesh. We can, if no more questions, we can move on Thank to you. the next. Thank you. Thank next. you.